You're watching a segment of The Splash, Greater West Bloomfield's news magazine show. This winter weather can make it difficult to enjoy the outdoors and explore the beautiful wildlife areas of West Bloomfield. I traveled outside to bring us this next story. My shoes, wet. My socks, also wet. The bottoms of my pants, you guessed it, they're wet. If only there was some way I could explore the beautiful wilderness of West Bloomfield by walking on top of the snow and not through it. At West Bloomfield Parks, we actually have some designated naturalist guided snowshoe programs. So you can get a little extra help and we'll help you put them on. You'll learn a lot more that way as far as the history of snowshoes. And then when we get out on the trail with the snowshoes, you also get a little nature talk and what we see out there, like finding animal tracks in the snow. So we do snowshoe hikes um, that are naturalist guided and those are pre-registered. But then we also offer just a snowshoe rental program in general. So anyone can come to our recreation activity center during our open times and rent a pair of snowshoes and then we'll show them where the trail is at and then they go out on their own. This is a great way for you to access trails you might not be able to. Um, putting on snowshoes gives you a new new feel too so it's a new adventure out there on our trails and we're always encouraging families to get outside and the more you go outside the more you appreciate and care for nature and our main goal is to teach conservation and so just getting people out there in different ways. Snowshoes is another really unique way to get outside. And after you head outside you need to learn how to use your snowshoes and how to use them properly. Well, we're here outside of our Recreation Activity Center at the trailhead of our Civic Center Trails. And we got Kathy here with us, one of our other park naturalists, to help us demonstrate our snowshoe programs and rentals. So please remember, though, we have to have at least three inches of snow or more on our trails in order to rent snowshoes. That's for your safety in case it's icy out. And also for the snowshoe equipment, we want to make sure that it stays well and maintained. And you can really crack and break snowshoes if you use it um, on a flat surface or uh, not very deep snow. So we require three inches or more. So you can give us a call or you can check our website at wbparks.org to see if you uh, are able to rent that day and what the conditions are out on our trail. But today we've got perfect conditions, so we're going to show you how you come out and put on the snowshoes. The ball of your foot's going to line up with the first strap, and then we have the heel strap back here. We're going to connect. Clips in. Okay, so the top one, pull tight here. Make sure that the metal prong sticks through on both, and then you're going to connect it under here to secure it. There's a black hook. So two metal hooks, two black hooks, and your toes are all done. Then the back one, you're going to turn your foot a little bit, Kathy, so they can see things. And then you're going to pull the back like this. And then there should, will be a black hook here as well to make sure that you don't have any extra slack hanging out. You can do it one time, but if there's still too much, you can twist it and do it again. Now, if you can lift your foot up for me, Kathy, you'll see that the toe, the bindings that are by the toe secure your foot that way, but the back is not foot put down. That's because we want it to be kind of like a little flip-flop action so that you have some mobility and that you are easier, easier to move around that way. Now she's ready and off she goes. Wow. I'm just so glad that I can now explore the nature of our community without getting my shoes, socks, and bottoms of my pants wet. Reporting for The Splash, I'm Jake Kustosh. You can find more information at our website at civiccentertv.com slash snowshoe rental. Thanks for watching this segment of The Splash. To watch the entire show or other segments, catch us on Comcast Channel 15 and AT&T Channel 99. Or look us up online at thesplash.tv and listen to us every week on 89.3 WBLD, the all-new Lakes FM.